Hey everybody, this is Joel Grevy here and Corey Shankleton. We're here again promoting the Mercy Seat, A Call to Prophetic Destiny. Uh, we're just we're really excited about what the Lord's doing. We're believing for 88 counties to come join or pray or intercede and worship and join with us. We're actually going to have below the screen um, actually a, a layout of our schedule, uh, how we're going to pray for each county so you can join. So if you could please just uh, put your county that you're going to be praying for if you want to come, please just let us know. We'd love to hear it. Um, where we're at right now, Corey wants to share some of his heart. He had a dream, um, so I'm just going to give it over to Corey. Yeah, probably several months ago I had this dream, and, and it was a long, detailed dream, but a portion of that dream was um, I had went up in front of a large gathering, and I thought I was going to begin to talk about a specific subject, but as I did and opened my mouth, what began to come out was this declaration that the blood of Christ is sufficient. It's sufficient for all of our past, all of our present, and all of our future. The blood of Christ is sufficient. It's sufficient for all of our inadequacies. And that phrase just kept getting said over and over and over. And as it did, there was an old man sitting in a wheelchair uh, all the way on the other side of this meeting. And he began to say something, and I couldn't understand what he was saying uh, and so I just kept repeating that phrase as I was walking closer to him out loud. And as I got closer, I thought he wanted to be saved. But as I was getting closer, he was actually saying, I don't want to be saved. I don't want to be saved. And I just kept saying that phrase, the blood of Christ is sufficient. It covers all of our past, all of our present, all of our future. The blood of Christ is sufficient. It covers all of our inadequacies. And as I got close to him, the old man turned into a young man, stood up and walked out of the meeting. And I followed him out of the meeting and when we got outside of the meeting, I again repeated that phrase. And he looked at me and he says, I know that statement to be true. And he turned and walked away. And so I came back into the meeting and everyone that had been gathered in this large uh, meeting in a church had just kind of turned to one another and began to speak with one another and talk. Just just idle everyday conversation. And the, and the thought went through my mind at that time. If they had prayed, he would not have only turned or acknowledged his foundation, but he would have turned back to it. Just as that revelation came, the Lord said, that man was the United States of America. And so we have this moment right now where we can actually on, grab a hold of our covenant root of who we are as a nation, who we are as a nation that has been in covenant with God, Apply the blood of Jesus to all of the stuff. You know, so many times we go, well, we've done this and we've done that. Listen, the blood of Christ is sufficient. Yeah. And so this gathering here on November 4th is really, or November 5th, is really a gathering of sons and daughters and understanding yeah. of what the blood really does in our life and what it does over a region and what it does over a state and what it does over a nation and appeal to the Father by the root of mercy and by the covenant of the Lord that's been made with this nation. And I believe that not only will our state stand up as a state that swings the sword of the Lord over our, over our nation, but our nation is not going to just acknowledge his past. It's going to turn back to it. Isaiah 126 says this, he'll give us leaders as in our former days and judges as in our beginning. And that's what we're believing for. Yeah, so again, um, November 5th, 8 to 8, we're going to have below, we're going to have the schedule um, from the 8 to 8, the first two hours, we're going to just worship and really just intercede whatever the Lord wants to do. We're going to have each county after that, we'll have it laid out alphabetically, and then we're going to go over our states. We're, we're just asking you to join in whatever way you can with prayer, and we're really, we're really believing that the Lord wants to bring you here for a specific thing um, to take back to your county. There's something with the unity that the Lord's doing right, right now and pouring out. Um, so this is this is a time to really to sound the alarm. We're on, we're we're on the edge of something big, and it's time to pray. It's time to press into the Father's heart over our cities, over our states, and over America.